Hello guys, welcome back to another demo in our channel. Um, in this demo this time around, we're going to look, at, we're going to build the application we're looking right here on the screen. Um, this project is a, is a real life-like scenario application that I've put together from the scratch. You know, I've taken a lot of time and a lot of effort to actually put this application together for us to learn how to do it together in this channel. So here is just a quick overview of what you'll be expecting to see in this application. We cannot go, we cannot demo everything right here in this application because it's a very huge application. I've taken a lot of time to build, right? So we cannot view everything here, but I'm just going to take a quick overview of what you'll be expecting right here. Um, so here is the home screen. Um, just it's a platform where we're going to connect veterinarians with pet owners. So any pet owner that has the need to get a veterinarian to take care of their pet, can just come to this website and um, look for a veterinarian. So um, having said that, so this is the home page when you just these are all the veterinarians we've got gotten in our system, and they'll be sliding here one by one, and you can click this one to see all veterinarians, or you can click this one right here to v to see what people are saying about this guy. So if for example, let's view what people are saying about that veterinarian. So right here, you can just say, um, the, you see about this veterinarian, a little bit the introduction about himself. And you can see what people are saying right here, which means the rating that people have rated him, um, the review, all those things, you're going to see them here. But this veterinarian has not gotten any rating in the past, so um, th there's nothing to show here right now. So you can leave rating if only you've gotten a completed appointment with this veterinarian. Because you can only rate someone you've worked with. You cannot rate someone you've not worked with before. So before you can rate any veterinarian, you're going to have a completed appointment with, that, with the veterinarian, right? Okay, so now we can just go back here to view all vets right here. Same here, we can meet all our vets, and uh, we can see all our vets right here. And right here below, you can see the load more button. So when you click on this, you're going to load more. You click on this, you're going to load more until you come to the, the, the you come to the end of the page. So um, here, um, you can search. You can just search as a, as a patient or as a pet owner that is looking for a veterinarian. You can search what you want to do, the kind of veterinarian you want. You can just search right here. You can search anyone you want. And also, if you want to book an appointment, you can just check a particular date for the appointment. You can just pick any date, maybe on the 23rd um, by 7 a.m. And let's check. So right here, you see that one of the surgeons is not available at that particular time, but one is available right here. But maybe if you pick another time, he may be available, maybe like 8.30 and search. So he's available at 8.30, but at 7 o'clock, he might be having an appointment at that period, so he is not available. So this is just how you can, as a patient or as a client, this is how you can search for a veterinarian and get connected with. Um, so right here, if we go here to see about this Dr. Sean right here, we'll see that Morphine has gotten one person reviewed, which means he has gotten a completed appointment with someone. And so that person has given him a review. You can see right here that the review is displayed right here because he has gotten one review in the past five stars from this woman here, from this patient that has reviewed him. And right here, if we, we can just go here to the dashboard. I've already logged in as Dr. Sean. So this Dr. Sean, this Dr. Sean's dashboard right here, and you can see that the, the, the user type here is vet and the row type here is vet, right? So um, um, also you can you can just as a user, vet is a user and um, a pet owner is a user. So as a user, you can change your profile, you can change your photo. For example, I just want to change this photo for Dr. Dr. Sean. So right here, this photo has been changed. Maybe, uh, maybe I can just decide to leave the one that was there before. So I can just put it right here again and just leave it right there. So also, they can change a password. Users can change a password. Just put anything. And you can actually change a password. So right here, you get the error. So if you look right here, so they are not consistent. So when you put follow the, 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 um, follow the right procedure, you can change your password right here. Everything is working just fine. Okay, so um, here, these are what users can do. And now, this is the appointment tab. So from here, if you click on here, you can just see the previous appointment that this doctor, this veterinarian has gotten. So he has gotten two appointments upcoming. He has gotten one waiting for approval. He has gotten one completed appointment, has gotten one, two w that are not approved, and one that is canceled. And now, if we see the appointment details right here, we're going to see that we actually have all of them with their different as, um, status right here. So here we can filter, we can filter the upcoming one. So this one is upcoming. 
So you can see that this one here is coming on the 23rd at um, 10 p.m., right? So it's coming, on, coming up on the 23rd, 23rd, 10 p.m. And also, if we go back right here, just to view the ones that are not approved, so we can see that this one is not approved right here. And because it's not approved right here, there's no information for the veterinarian to contact the patient. But if, uh, for example, that this appointment was approved and maybe it's upcoming or ongoing, so you can just look here and see the appointment information right here. You see, right here, we get the information of the patient. So now the doctor can actually um, connect with the patient, with the uh, pet owner, by their email or by their phone number. So if you go to the patient side of the dashboard, you can also, you're going to see the doctor information right there. The doctor is seeing the patient information, and the patient is seeing the doctor's information. And that, that fulfills the goal of this application. So we successfully link them together to call each other to get further discussion about their appointment. Um, so right here, this is the review that this doctor has gotten before, so everything is actually displayed right here. So now, let me go to uh, the incognito side. I've opened a new incognito right here, and here I have logged in as an admin right here. So you see the admin side, there's a, an extra dashboard right here. So the, uh, this is the admin dashboard, the admin profile right here. So the admin has actually got booked two appointments with that veterinarian. One is waiting for approval, the one was not approved. Right? So you can see last time we have two appointments that are not approved. So one belongs to this very patient right here. You can see that he has is an admin, but he booked an appointment. Admin also can have a pet as well, right? An admin can be a veterinarian, an admin can be a pet owner, right? So um, now this admin right here can contain the role of admin, pet owner, and vet, right? So that's just like that. Um, so right here, um, like what we've seen before, this uh, this detail of the appointment, and these are the overview, and these are the rating here. She has not rated any uh, veterinarian because she has not gotten any completed appointment with any veterinarians right here, and so she cannot rate anyone right now. So um, if we go to the admin dashboard, we're going to see the the system, everything that is happening in the system. So here we have 14 veterinarians, we have 16 um, patients. And we have 31 users all together because we have one admin. And right here we have seven appointments right here that are uh, in our system. So we have, out of the seven, we have two upcoming. We have one waiting, which is three. We have two not approved, which is five. We have one that is canceled, six. And we have one that is completed, which is seven. So that is the seven appointment you've seen right here. And um, here are the, all the veterinarian specializations that are that already in existence in the database. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have. I have 16 veterinarians, right? We have 14 veterinarians with, with, with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with seven or with six specializations, right? So we have um, three urologists, we have three dermatologists, we have three this, we have two this, we have one this, we have two this. So all these are what we've gotten in our database. So this is the database, the system overview for the admin. So when the admin comes here, you can just see what is going on inside the system, right? And right here we see the active account and non-active account. So we see that we, we have 14 veterinarians. Now we have 13 veterinarians. But we have 14 veterinarians right here, 14. So out of the 14, two, 13 of them are active, but one is not active. One is, is disabled. So right here, if we go here, we're going to see that we have the key to lock and, dis uh, and open an admin right here. So if I lock another one right here and go back to the dashboard, we're going to see that we have two that are disabled. So when they are disabled, they cannot log into their system, right? Maybe they, they didn't pay their subscription at the end of the month, or they did not adhere to the rules and regulation of the website. They can be automatically logged out from here. And we can actually, as an admin, you can delete a vet, and you can view a vet. You can edit a vet right here. For example, you can just edit, try to edit anything you want to edit right here, right? So now the gender is not specified. So now I just want to specify this gender right here as, as me right here and just update. So right here we see that the admin has been updated to me, right? And uh, just so on and so forth like that. So these are just the basic thing that are just a quick uh, overview of what you'll be expecting. And there are so many more functionalities inside this application that I've already put together. Um, I take a lot of time to put everything together just for us to have a good demo together. So if I go here right now, I'm just going to, this is the doctor's side of the story, right? This is Dr. Sean, right? So now if I just log out right now, so for example, I forgot my password. I can just um, say maybe I want to log in and I forgot my password. So I can just go here to forget my, to reset my password. So if I actually put in an, Im an email that is not, that does not exist, we're going to catch the error right here. The user is not found. 
But if we put um, an uh, email that is already in existence in database, we're actually going to have um, we're going to have a, a, a password reset link sent to our email. So let's just you see here is processing the, the reset link right here. So now if we go to this email right now and refresh right here, we're going to see that we have one notification right here. And if we go here, we have um, appoint uh, this password. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back this one here. We have new appointment notification, and also um, here. I think this is the email we've used. Let's refresh again. Let's refresh one more time. So we're going to see that we have some password um, here. We have a password um, reset notification that is sent a zero minutes ago right here. A zero minutes ago, which is the one we just requested for. So if we actually follow this link right here, we're going to go back to our application. We are going to ask to enter a new password. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, so I'm just going to close that tab and maintain one tab. So we can just actually register for a new, as a new um, um, veterinarian or a pet owner. We can just do all those right here. So um, this is a quick overview of what we'll be expecting in a few days' time because I'm going to upload this application right here on this channel in a few days' time. So this is just a quick overview of what we'll be expecting. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do, do so so that when I upload this application, uh, this project, you can actually be the first to be notified. And also, um, um, click on the notification bell so you'll be notified, right? And also, don't forget to share this upcoming uh, demo with other guys so that they will be aware of what is coming up on this channel. If you are not subscribed, please do so. And if you're subscribed, please um, stay tuned. So, thank you so much for being here. And I uh, hope to see you soon when this complete project is being uploaded. Goodbye and uh, see you soon.